Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's episode of the newly rebranded Always Radiant Skin Podcast. In today's episode, we are talking about detoxing and some superfoods for healthy hair, skin, and nails, as well as how key nutrients can slow aging. We have a returning guest here with us today. She's the CEO and founder of these products here called Energy Bits. And we're going to be talking quite a bit about spirulina and chlorella, how they can help us detox and achieve and receive the best hair, skin, nails of our lives. So Catherine Arnston started Energy Bits after her sister was diagnosed with breast cancer and advised by her oncologist that an alkaline diet would help her heal. It's also going to help slow aging. Catherine immediately sprung into action to help her sister research alkaline foods and in the process discovered algae. When Catherine learned that algae was the most alkaline plant-based nutrient dense food in the world, she had been used that had been used for 50 years in Asia to improve health and longevity. She knew she had discovered something big and yes, her sister fully recovered. Thanks for asking. As Catherine dug into the science of algae, she learned that it had 64% protein, 40 vitamins and minerals, and was endorsed by the United Nations and NASA as the most nutrient-dense food in the world. She also discovered there were 100,000 studies documenting its long list of benefits and was the most sustainable, eco-friendly food crop in the world. And yet algae remained virtually unknown outside of Asia. How could this be possible? Catherine knew algae could be a game changer for our health, our children, and our world if she could only convince people it wasn't weird. And so Energy Bits was born. It took Catherine 10 years to bring algae into the mainstream and build Energy Bits into a national company. We're glad she finally did because now you and your family can benefit from our naturally grown toxin-free non-GMO algae tablets too. A handful will help a handful will help satisfy your hunger, help give you steady energy, and help ensure your nutritional needs are met. All of this from a food that has one ingredient, no chemicals, caffeine, sugar, or processing, and is the most sustainable, safe, eco-friendly crop in the world. Algae, your, bo- your body and Mother Earth say thank you, and we do too. Welcome back, Catherine Arnston. How are you today? I am super charged. <laughs> and uh, of course, being with you is always an exciting moment for me. <laughs> Yes. So thank you for having me back. Of course. <laughs> and we're going to have the opportunity to meet in person as yes. we're both speaking at the biohacking conference in Orlando coming up. And for those of you listening to the show, come up to us, say hello. We'd love to meet you. And this is where our community come together. Yeah. How excited are you? It's it's super. Well, we were at Dave's uh, biohacking show in Beverly Hills in September. <clears throat> so we're, uh, you know, this will be our second year. We've we've done other biohacking shows, but his is the biggest, most professional. I tell people it's like uh, uh, the Academy Awards of biohacking. So um, it's a very, very high, high energy show, well produced. Uh, if you don't have a ticket yet, I would encourage you to join, to come down because um, there's nothing else like it in the world, quite honestly. So it's well worth being there and and you'll get to see us. (laughs) Yeah. There's about three to 4,000 people attending. So this is literally our people, our Our people, our tribe. You got it. (laughs) Those of us. And for those of you tuning into the show who are taking charge of their health wellness and, you know, biohacking is kind of fringe, right? So a lot of times the biohacking stuff with, with peptides and red light therapy, it happens first in our space. We're, We're sort of the cowboys 
for yeah. longevity and slowing aging and then it becomes more mainstream so you always yeah. want to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening at these conferences yeah and and i will say pretty much all the vendors and all the speakers that are there they're there because they usually had a personal or family experience that wasn't the solution wasn't available through traditional medicine. So they hunkered down and lifted the lid and found other alternative um, methodologies. And, and um, so that you, you really do see a lot of, it's all science-based, except it's not, it's just like algae. Algae isn't new. It's just new to you. And much of what biohacking is about is the same thing. It's, it's been around in different formats in other countries, or um, but it hasn't really been explained or gone mainstream. But in most cases, it will eventually. <laughs> Same with algae. I mean, algae is a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop in Asia where they've been using it for over 50 years. And yet, as you mentioned in your introduction, virtually nobody in North America or anybody outside of Asia really knows the longevity um, uh, benefits. They know that it's a superfood and they people put in their smoothie, but they're not really quite sure what it does. And so I looked at the hood on algae and discovered unbelievable benefits for skin, longevity, um, protection of your, your of everything from your heart to your brain. And we'll go into some of that hopefully today. Oh my goodness, absolutely. And I'll be taking some energy bits live, by the way. I'll be taking the recovery bits and the beauty bits, which nice. are uh, to the products that Catherine has. All right, Catherine, here is the trillion unlimited dollar question. What is radiance to you? Well, um, I think radiance is um, could also be explained or interpreted as joy um, to me. And so uh, when you are um, uh, caring for yourself and, and enjoying uh, feeling joy in the life that you are having, um, you radiate. Uh, it's it's palpable. Um, you, and people are drawn to that because they can feel your energy and everything in the world is energy. So um, radiance comes from the inside. You can't really, you can't buy radiance. And, and so that's why I'm so lucky, I feel, to be helping people achieve their own radiance uh, with algae because it it's something that you ingest. We sell these um, little tablets. This is spirulina and this one's chlorella. You can see the difference in the colors. So um, you swallow them or chew them or add them to smoothies, whatever. I, I have, you know, I eat them all day long. And it works at a cellular level to provide you with nourishment. Uh, spirulina is very nourishing. Chlorella, we'll talk about in a minute, is very detoxing and cleansing. And so it's like having scrub-a-dub working away in your body and also um, giving your body, body everything they need because all the nutrients are circulated through your body through a highway called your blood vessels. And those blood vessels feed your brain, they feed your skin. And so it helps you feel better so that you function better. And when you feel and function better, it's a lot easier to be joyful. <laughs> it's a lot easier to radiate uh, because that radiance is coming from the inside. Um, so uh, I tell people spirulina and, and chlorella, but particularly spirulina uh, feed your mitochondria, which are what generate cellular energy, something called ATP. And I tell people, cellular energy is like money. You know, when you have more money, you can do more things and you can uh, have more choices. And so cellular energy is the same way. If you have more of it, it can do more things for you, whether it's cleansing your skin or helping connect the connections in your brain or helping you sleep. And, and you just have more choices. Maybe you decide you want to go for a run or maybe you decide you want to go to bed. Either way, it will be you will have the most optimal experience because your body is functioning optimally because it's been nourished um, from the inside. Beautifully stated. And you mentioned you can't buy radiance. Well, actually you can oh, really? because I teach radiance over at the school of radiance.com and the lovely Stephanie just registered. She's officially joined the ranks of the school of radiance alumni and, you know, becoming radiant, being radiant, it does come down to making making great choices yes. with your nutrients and superfoods, uh, having a strong sense of identity, boundaries, learning how to communicate and connect with others. Because at the end of the day, to be beautiful, to be radiant, the underpinning why 
is confidence and community. And we'll have better interactions when our brain works better, when our mitochondria are fueled up and recharged. So that's why I'm a firm believer in your energy bits, Catherine, for appropriately fueling the body. Yes. Well, and I'm grateful that you're you're actually teaching radiance, how to achieve radiance. Um, but you can't go to a store and, and pull it off the shelf. So it's um, and it and it sort of relates to self care. Um, self care is not selfish. They're quite different. Self care is the best thing you can ever do, because when you are happy and when you um, feel love for yourself, <clears throat> then you aren't desperate for finding it outside of you because you already have it inside and we all have it. It's, it's a, it's a jewel that uh, is tucked away inside and we just need to un uncover it. And, um, but we're so busy and distracted with so much, uh, so many diversions and uh, things to purchase that we forget that the true jewel is always been with us at all times. We just have to spend some time to, to look at it and to, uh, to brush it off, <laughs> talk to it. <laughs> yes, yeah, learn to soar, right? Learn yeah. to soar, learn to radiate. You can't rejuvenate this, right? We can look great on the outside, but if the insides don't match and if our cellular machinery is all gunged up and low energy, you're not gonna radiate good vibes because you're gonna be tired and you're not gonna be sleeping well and yeah. you're probably gonna be snappy in your interactions with people. All right. Let's dive into how do spirulina and chlorella support detoxification? Because in my studying of radiance, it does come down to air, water, lighting, electromagnetic, biohacking mitigation. That's why biohacking is so important for healthy skin and slowing aging and beauty and radiance. And also the big one here, the fifth one is detoxing. So talk to us about the properties of spirulina and chlorella with your Energy Bits products for yeah. detoxing. <clears throat> Well, spirulina is not really a detoxing algae. It's cleansing, uh, but it's not detoxing. Um, chlorella is really the detoxing algae. And so let me talk, tell you what spirulina does first. It, it's very nourishing. Um, and it has, um, and it does that through, yes, <laughs> um, the high concentration of protein. Uh, it has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. Um, it has a very high amount of B vitamins, which convert the aminos into um, physical energy. It's loaded with iron that carries oxygen to your brain and to your body, and that gives you energy. Um, and it also has a couple of particular antioxidants that aren't found in any other foods. Uh, one is, it's a mouthful, they're both mouthfuls. One is called superoxide dismutase, and it's known for uh, preventing free radical damage uh, or stopping free radical damage of the mitochondria so that it can generate more ATP and energy, cellular energy for you. And then there's also the blue pigment. We actually have two spirulina. Um, I started with uh, energy bits, but we found women didn't like the packaging. And because it has more collagen than collagen powder, I created a second brand called the Beauty Bits, but they are identical. But they're both a blue-green algae. And the blue pigment is called phycocyanin, another large word. <laughs> Yeah, they're about the size of a baby aspirin. Um, and that I'm about to take my beauty bits right now. Yeah, everybody. it's uh, it, they, they both, you know, st stop free radical damage. And so free radical damage occurs in your mitochondria in all parts of your body, whether it's your brain, your heart, um, your uh, lymphatic system, and yes, your skin. So when you are taking spirulina, by the way, it satisfies your hunger. There's only one calorie per tablet, one calorie. So you could have maybe uh, 20 for lunch. So one calorie for you know, 20 calories and you're getting all the nourishment that you need for the day and all of the protection from antioxidants also in, in the day. So I will attest to that as well, that it does help to uh, curve that brain hunger because your body is satisfied from a nutrient level. Yeah. And a lot of times when you're craving something, it's because you're missing that particular nutrient. Well, spirulina has 40 vitamins and minerals. So there's really nothing that it's not missing. <laughs> so it does help with the cravings as well. And, and, and it releases, um, it helps your brain to function better. Um, in fact, a book just came out called Brain Energy um, by Dr. Chris Palmer. And it talks about how all brain issues, whether it's depression or 
um, Alzheimer's is due to mitochondria damage. And so spirulina is your best shot at protecting your brain and your function. So, so, um, so it, I guess you would say it supports de detoxification in that it helps the mitochondria function better. And when the mitochondria are functioning better, then everything functions better, including your immune system and your natural detoxification process. But the true detox comes from chlorella, which we call ours recovery bits. And it, it and the way it detoxes you is in a couple of, well, there's three main way, ways. Number one, chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Remember, spirulina has the highest protein. See, and chlorophyll is the pigment that is green, that's in plants. That's why you can see the chlor chlorella is a much greener algae tablet. So chlorophyll is very cleansing. In fact, I want to show you something um, yeah, that's really cool about chlorophyll. It's also the same chemical composition as your hemoglobin. Here's your red blood cell uh, chemical composition, and here's chlorophyll. Look at the, the virtually identical. So when you have um, a lot of chlorophyll in your in your body, you are also building your blood. And as we talked earlier, blood is what carries nutrients to your brain, to your skin, to your organs. So um, chlorella, because it has the highest chlorophyll, helps facilitate that. So that's one part of the cleansing detox is from the chlorophyll. By the way, chlorella has 25 times more chlorophyll than even liquid chlorophyll. So a lot of people have started taking chlor chlor chlorophyll drops, but I tell you, I tell them you're cheating yourself because there's more chlorophyll in the chlorella algae than chlorophyll, uh, which again, recovery bits. And you also get protein and 40 vitamins and minerals that aren't in the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll's drops are just chlorophyll. Well, chlorella those drops are gonna be a little bit watered down too, right? Yes, and also it's more harder to travel with. Um, people love the chlorella, the little pouches that we have because they're very easy to travel with. So anyways, that's the first step with chlorella in, in terms of why and how it um, is detoxing is because of the high chlorophyll. The second is that chlorella has a hard cell wall that attaches to toxins. Spirulina, which again is this one, does not have a, cellu a cellulose wall at all. In fact, Spirulina is a bacteria, does not have a cellulose wall or a nucleus. This is why it gets into your bloodstream so quickly, why it's so good for you if you're diabetic or you have, are hypoglycemic or you were looking for um, something with zero carbs, zero carbs in this. This gets into your bloodstream so quickly. That's why it's so athletes love it because it, it gives them energy so quickly. But chlorella has the hardest cell wall. So it does take a longer, a bit longer to get in, but what it does is it attaches, that hard cell wall attaches to all heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, alcohol, uh, pesticides, glyphosate. So very, very detoxing. Uh, and it's better than, um, I tell people, I think it's better than uh, activated charcoal, which will pull out all minerals. This only pulls out the bad stuff. And in fact, it has- I didn't know that. That's, thank you so much for clarifying that. If yeah. anyone's going to know this stuff, it's going to be you. <laughs> uh, so this does, this only pulls out toxins. Um, and it also introduces lots of minerals, all the electrolytes. So you never run into that problem. Lots of times people do activated charcoal and they end up dehydrated because they've lost all of their- electrolytes, the salt, the potassium, the magnesium, and that can be very dangerous. So that's number two. First again was the chlorophyll, which is very cleansing. Two is the hard cell wall that attaches to toxins and chelates them out of your body. The third reason is it has a very, the highest concentration of something called glutathione, which is an antioxidant that also removes toxins from your body, particularly from your liver. So the fact that this has the highest concentration, and we did lab tests to prove it, um, adds that extra boof to the detoxing capability. Spirulina has high glutathione as well, but it's a trifecta of detox. When you combine the highest chlorophyll in the world, the hard cell wall, and the glutathione, those three combined uh, are so powerful to remove toxins. Now, to help people understand the difference between the two of them, I speak at a lot of conferences. I came up with an analogy that people seem to really like. So because spirulina uh, is very nourishing and feeds your body and feeds your skin and feeds your mitochondria, think of it as room service. You know, when you go to a hotel and you 
treat yourself to room service. You get all the all the stuff that you want to eat. And it's very, very nourishing. That's spirulina. And often you get room service in the morning when you you know wake up and you're luxuriating in your plush robe and you're in that great big bed. So that's spirulina. And then chlorella, think of chlorella as housekeeping. It comes and cleans up all the junk in your trunk, all the stuff that you left over that you don't need anymore, rem remnants from the party, remnants from working out. And so, so room service and housekeeping. So I, I love helping people understand or come up with a sort of an analogy that, that will resonate for them. And another, if, if you want another one, because this is so loaded with essential fatty acids and it heals your your mitochondria so much and your brain has the highest concentration of mitochondria, 2 million mitochondria per cell. Think of this as working on your in your body from the top down because it goes, it helps your brain so much. And because this heals your gut, helps with digestion, cleans out the junk in your trunk, pulls out toxins, and it also has fiber that um, feeds your, your gut biome. This is kind of like working from the bottom up. So um, spirulina works from the top down, chlorella works from the bottom up or, you know, house room service, housekeeping. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a brilliant way of describing that. See this, everybody, this is the third time I'm interviewing Catherine. This is how much I love this woman and the products that you're making. I take these products myself. Uh, they do help me feel better. And also when I'm actively detoxing, I want to be taking things like this. And I was actually thinking to myself the other day, oh, I should you know, be taking more glutathione. I take a ton of supplements. So I'm very happy that you shared that there is actually glutathione in the very, recovery bits. The Thank highest you. amount in the world. And so a lot of people, um, well, a lot of celebrities do, uh, like this, they get glutathione drips, IV drips. But the problem with glutathione is it only lasts, especially if you do the drip, it, it only lasts about an hour. And so um, you'll feel great right away, but then, and then it d diminishes. So the great thing about algae is it's food. I, I don't know if I, you know, showed you this before, but it, you know, it's grown in, in freshwater farms. Here's a spirulina farm and here's a chlorella farm. So it's not a supplement, it's food. So you can eat as much of it as you want. And so if you're taking chlorella as I do throughout the day, it's constantly in your bloodstream. So you're, and you, you, you don't have to refrigerate it. You don't have to mix it. You don't have to do anything. That's um, what You're right. That's what I always found so inconvenient about the liposomal glutathione is because it, it's like an egg yolk and then you have to put it in water and then you down it. And it's just not the nicest thing. It, I also found it was really expensive. So I really love that there's glutathione in the recovery bits and everybody I'm about to take my second round of energy bits of the recovery. So yeah. if you're watching this, this is exciting to watch. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I eat mine just cause I'm um, chlorella. Uh, I will say most people swallow the spirulina cause it's very chewy and it has an earthy flavor, but I chew mine. So, but I will say most people swallow them and we generally recommend 10 a day. I mean, you could have less if you wanted, but uh, 10 will give you the nourishment that will, I call it your nutritional insurance. It's also health insurance because it will give you and your body and your skin and your brain, all the nutrients it needs for the day. And then when you go out for dinner, um, you know, you just eat for entertainment. Um, so, and most people take the chlorella at night before they go to bed because it, your body goes through a detox repair cycle when you're sleeping, but you can take any of them, any time of day with each other, um, uh, instead of food, with food, there's, it doesn't interact with anything. But for, um, and again, 10 a day of this one, the chlorella, uh, will give you the wellness benefits for, but for detox, you really need closer to 20 or 30, or it cannot pull the toxins all the way out into your bloodstream. It'll, it'll get, it'll be like, um, you know, trying to park and you only get part way in and you, <laughs> you can't make the full park. So you got to be sure you're pulling the toxins all the way out. Um, and so if you, but if you're like me, I mean, I absolutely, this is literally my favorite food and I eat them with pistachio nuts. My favorite brand um, is called Wonderful and they, there's a salt and vinegar flavor. You can buy it at Whole Foods or, or Amazon and um, it's delicious or macadamia nuts. You can mix it with trail mix or uh, have it with slices of fruit. It tastes more like a sunflower seed or a soy nut. So if you can learn to like eating these, it's so much more enjoyable. Um, and you can eat these too, but more people 
tend to swallow these ones, but this one is pretty tasty. We're going to do a trail mix eventually when we have some more time. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is actually keep the energy bits boxes because they come in a box like this. Yeah. Love that they are convenient for traveling. Yes. Um, a lot of my clients ask, Hey, how can I keep up with, you know, my skincare and my skin nutrients while I travel? And this just makes it so easy. I typically take most of my supplements before bed as well. So that's a good tip about the recovery. But I also like to take the energy bits during the day too, uh, because it does just, I find gives me energy. It also helps to curve cravings and, and all that. What do you have yeah. holding up well, there? Show you these, um, so that we were showing people the pouches, which are really terrific for um, traveling or going to work, just toss them in your handbag. But this this is what everybody loves the most. These are my canisters, and so they this is the these are the small ones, and they come with a bag inside. And so you open the bag and put the tablets inside, and then you just shake them out into your hand through the opening um, like this. So that way, see that way you never have to touch the bag. And then when you run out of the tablets, then you just buy another large bag and refill. The canister. The, you only buy a canister once. So we have small ones and large ones. Um, but so that way, it's again, uh, both, the algae itself is the most eco-friendly, sustainable crop in the world. But the because of the packaging, which is made, this is made from cardboard. It's very sustainable, but the, it's also you know um, replenishable. So, uh, and we actually just got into Neiman Marcus, and so um, they're selling this on their. Uh, um, this one, they love the beauty bits. <laughs> and, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, one quick thing, food quality at Whole Foods has gone way down. Canola oil in Whole Foods, Trader oh, Joe's is like it's, everywhere. Yeah. And then I also don't recommend buying any type of supplement, skincare, hair care, makeup type of product, anything that's going on or in your body from Amazon just because of the huge issues with counterfeit stuff. So I did just want to point that out. Now yeah. I do, because I'm a huge fan of quality control, right? What's the quality control? So everybody needs to know why your algae is the best to take because it's not grown in the ocean or bodies of right. water. Tell us about your rigorous quality control measures with your products. Well, um, thank you for asking. Um, and first of all, people need, we grow ours in Taiwan, which is world renowned for the highest quality. One day I do hope to grow it in America. It'll probably be in Florida because it has a very similar um, tropical climate as, as Taiwan. 99% of algae, by the way, is grown in Asia. So it's China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and 99% of it is actually consumed in Asia. So that's one of the reasons why you don't know much about algae is because you just didn't grow up with it, but they do in Asia. You can't go to school or work without going by an algae farm. Here we have corn and wheat and other sort of high carb, low, low, low nutritional crops. But um, algae is definitely um, everywhere over there and one day hopefully here as well. So we grow ours in triple filtered spring mountain water, which is very important because and why you never want algae from an ocean or a lake, because algae will absorb whatever's in the water. Now, there were there was a company and I, they may even still be around. I'm not going to name anything, but they used to grow it in Klamath Lake. But um, tests have shown that there are microtoxins in the lake. You just can't avoid it. It just... And so you have to have algae that's grown in very, very clean water or you will probably end up with toxins in them. So that's number one. We grow ours in triple filtered spring mountain water. Number two, we're one of the, the only algae I, company I'm aware of that does not use high heat to dry our algae. Now, we are a premium product, so we are a little bit more expensive, but it's very, very concentrated and very, very safe. You pay for um, what you get with these things, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's like anything, whether it's, you know, shoes or, or in this case, algae, you get what you, if you want the best, it, it does cost. But on the other hand, it lasts longer and do more. So that's definitely worth it. So um, the reason why high heat is a problem is because some of the nutrients, and I mentioned two of them earlier, superoxidismutase and um, phycocyanin, which are two important antioxidants, they are damaged and destroyed by high heat. And all the other less expensive algae companies that I'm aware of um, use high heat because they're lower priced. So they, they, their business model is based on sell, sell, sell. So they have to get to market quick, quick, quick. So they use high heat to do that. But on the, but in the process, then they, they damage the, the algae. And so you're getting 
you're not getting the full value um, that you would get from our algae. So a lot of people have found they need less of ours to get more and better benefits because you're getting um, all the nutrients and none of them are damaged. High heat just damages the nutrients. So that's number two. Um, number three is chlorella has a unique um, uh, situation. Remember I mentioned that it has a hard cell wall and that hard cell wall is so hard that it has to be actually cracked at production. And um, most other companies use the original technique, which was to tumble the, the uh, chlorella with glass beads, um, which physically crushed the chlorella. Um, but the problem is the glass heats up and lead from the glass leaks into the chlorella. So here you're taking something to pull out toxins and it's introducing um, a, a, you know, heavy metal. We, When I started the company, I learned about that as a potential problem. So uh, fortunately, a new, more expensive technique had just been developed and that was what we use. And we pass the algae, the chlorella through a sound chamber and it's the vibrations that crack the chlorella. So no heat, no lead, no, no glass. So so, um, and it, it preserves the uh, the full nutritional value of of the chlorella. Um, I guess the other thing is that we um, we we uh, do all of our packaging here at the United States in the United States at an FDA approved uh, facility. So we import our algae in large cargo ships. Um, and I think when companies are importing the products already prepackaged, they get irradiated. So ours aren't irradiated because they're in these large cargo ships. Um, and then all the packaging we do is, um, you know, 99% UV protected. And that's important because light will pull out the chlorophyll. Um, so you'll, it could, you know, it won't go bad, but you're not, again, getting this, the high value um, if you have this in glass containers or something that's not preventing the, the light. So anybody who is buying this, please don't put these in clear baggies or clear jars. You know, um, we'll send you some tins or buy a canister because that will keep the light out. Um, and the and another sort of indicative indication of our high quality is we do third party lab tests every year here uh, by batch because we sell our algae either through our website, energybits.com, and we have a special 20% discount code for your listeners and your community at the end, we'll mention. Um, but because we sell through doctors, uh, chiropractors, functional medicine, and they literally prescribe our algae to their patients, they needed to be sure that the nutrition that we say is in there is truly in there and that there aren't any toxins. So, so we're quite proud that we do all these lab tests. They're very expensive. Um, we even type test for microtoxins. And of course, we never have any because uh, that would be from algae that's grown in the in the uh, ocean. So we've done everything we can um, to preserve uh, uh, the, the highest value of nutrition um, so that you can, you know, you're spending a lot of money and you need somebody you can trust. And, and while it's not part of the algae itself, um, we are very dedicated to educating people on the science of algae, why it works, how it works. Um, and I don't know anybody, any other company that's, uh, I've been on 200, over 250 podcasts in the last year and a half. And I speak at all these conferences and I write all these papers um, because I think if you truly understand how your body works and how algae has the nutri nutrients that it needs to work optimally, then you can start to um, be less afraid of um, what's what's happening if you end up with a chronic disease. The, you can see why the algae will help unravel that for you or help protect you from that. Um, knowledge is power. And so I want to empower people to be aware of this. It's certainly not pond scum. It's just a nutritional rock star that needed uh, somebody to help um, you know explain what it is and what it does and that's sort of my role <laughs> excellent so here we go ladies and gentlemen biohacker making your supplements i love this because we understand things like mycotoxins and, and what you're referring to with the sunlight is called photo degradation that's why with skincare products it's typically in an opaque type of glass container to yeah. reduce that uh, photo degradation because that is a, a uh, chemical process that can degrade activity. I We got to talk because uh, I did a previous study for a company and their products that, that had superoxide dismutase in a skin supplement. And um, I'm always curious about the visible results with taking a product. And, and this is actually something I do for other companies as well. And then it gives me more confidence with taking the products too. Be like, oh my gosh, look at this. 
after four weeks, after eight weeks, this is the impact it made on the skin. And I postulate that you would see more brightness to the skin, less darkness and redness to the eyes because you're feeding your mitochondria. You got the superoxide dismutase in there and you're also helping to pull out toxins. One of the questions we, and we're gonna wrap up here, one of the questions we had when we did a live stream was if pregnant people can take this. Now we can't make general statements. This isn't medical advice, educational yes. information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. However, when I'm pregnant, I will be taking these mm -hmm. because they are not gonna have that mercury content from being in the ocean, which is one of the number one concerns about eating uh, seafood and those types of those types of things. So if you're looking for something to support those nutrient values that are super clean, uh, this is a great option that I personally will be taking. Oh, so everyone that's tuning into the show, use promo code Varga and save 20% on your next energy bits order over at energybits.com. Check out the link in the description of this episode for additional exclusive offers as being part of the always radiant scan community. And Catherine, do you have any closing words for us today? Well, a couple of things, because um, you were um, mentioning about, you know, obviously, radiant skin, and people generally comment on how radiant my skin is. And honestly, uh, I look younger now than I did 10 years ago. And I have been taking algae every single day, spirulina, fantastic. spirulina and, uh, and chlorella every single day. And I'm turning 67 in a couple of months. So I don't use Botox. I have, it's just natural and, and I attribute it to the, to taking algae. I don't use anything fancy on my skin. Um, so I, I just want people to know that I speak from the heart uh, as someone who's experienced this myself. And, you know, when you find something good, whether it's a great restaurant or a great pair of shoes or a great sale, you know, the great thing about women is we like to share good stuff. And Honestly, it doesn't get any better than this. And and you may take it for your skin, but you're going to help your hunger. Maybe you'll take it to detox, but you're going to have better digestion and you'll pull out talk, um, other toxins in your brain. Uh, maybe you'll have it for energy for taking your kids to school, but you're going to end up um, being fully nourished and you may be preventing some of these chronic illnesses that, that women you know, experience like osteoporosis or Alzheimer's. 80% of both those illnesses hit women more. Um, so, so we need to find something to help us. <laughs> and I know from personal experience, it's helping me. And, um, and I, we get emails every day from uh, our customers telling us about how it's helped them. So um, because it's so nourishing, it was the first life on earth four billion years ago. It's studied 100,000 studies endorsed by international agencies. Just give it a try because you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it's not new, it's just new to you. So. Um, please come and visit us at energybits.com. Use your Varga code for 20% off. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, everybody listening, if you're watching this interview on YouTube, uh, Catherine is a glowing example of a high vibe radiant woman living your purpose, <laughs> helping people be their best versions. And you're also looking fabulous and healthy in the process. Oh, thank you. You too. <laughs> thank you. Look at us well, go. Two girls. I have your products girls. to help me out. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today right here on the Always Radiant Skin Podcast. And Catherine, a third time guest here with the community. There's a reason why she's back a third time <laughs> because I love this woman and I love these products. And you can also check out the list of uh, all my other favorite things and biohacking tools and gadgets over on my website, rachelvarga.ca. Just go to the favorites biohacking page. If you have any questions from today's show, reach out to me directly, send me an email, contact details are listed below. Book your one-on-one -on -one session, join my skin camps for skincare tutorials, and of course, the School of Radiance for that cherry on top to, you know, be the full package on the inside and out and have your best, most radiant life possible. Thank you, Catherine, for joining us here on the show. And I'll see you very soon at the Biohacking Conference. You got it. All right. Thank you. <laughs>